Recently, a company called Dehancer reached out to me and wondered if I wanted to test and review their plugin for film emulation and color grading. At first, I thought it wouldn't be for me since I don't work a lot with color grading and the more advanced editing. I just try to do basic adjustments and sometimes I play around a bit with LUTs. Also, I mainly do nature photography and I wasn't sure that adding a lot of film grain and stuff like that would add to my results. Then I thought maybe that's exactly why I should try this plugin. Could it help me as a nature photographer and a beginner at editing? And could it even help me save bad quality material? I thought I could at least give you my opinion on how I think it works for nature photography and also my view of the pros and cons based on my first impressions using the plugin. So this is my honest opinion and I'm not getting paid to do this review. They did however supply me with the license for the plugin. So what is the answer? Very short, it's a plugin with film like color grading and film effects to make your material look more old school cinematic like, like it was shot on film. It has a lot of tools like film profiles, grain, bloom, halation and a lot of other stuff. I'm going to show you very briefly how it works and some examples and in the end of this video there is a compilation of some of my favorite clips graded with Dehancer showing before and after editing. Dehancer works as a plugin to DaVinci Resolve and a lot of other editing software. You just install it and it appears in the effects library on your color panel. Let's just have a quick walkthrough of some of the features of Dehancer Pro. Film emulations. These give you a starting point when it comes to colors and tonal characteristics and then there is a lot of possibilities for fine-tuning the look with tonal range, contrast, color density, compression and a lot more. A lot of the time I find myself coming back to one of my favorite types of film, the Fujichrome Velvia 50. Film grain. Now, this is something that really didn't make sense to me at first. I mean, I try to avoid noise and grain in my footage, so why would I want to add it? But after trying it out, I found it to be actually quite useful for some types of footage. More on that in a while. You can adjust the size of the grain and the amount, details and how it affects shadows and highlights. What makes it different from a lot of other software and plugins is that it's not just an overlay, it actually rebuilds the image to give you an authentic look of film grain. Bloom is an effect that works kind of like a promist filter on your lens, something that I wanted to get for quite a while. It creates a misty glow around brighter parts and gives the image a soft vintage feeling. I find this tool to be quite useful without adding any of the other film effects. Lastly, I wanted to just mention halation. It's basically a subtle red glow around high contrast and overexposed areas. The effect is very subtle and I didn't find it as useful as the other functions for my type of material. It might be that I just haven't tried it enough or haven't found the right type of clips for it. Now, the plugin has a lot more tools like vignetting, exposure compensation, tonal contrast, color density, but I won't go into detail on that now. There are a lot of tutorials on YouTube and I might actually make a separate video on that later on. When first trying the plugin out, I noticed that I really liked some of the film profiles and the bloom effect, but without the film grain. It really does give the material a more cinematic look in my opinion. One of the things I found the color grading worked absolutely best with was drone footage. With just a few simple steps, I find the footage to look a lot more cinematic. For some drone shots, I found that I even liked adding the film grain to get a certain look. Other drone shots worked best with just the subtle effect of emulating a certain film. I often find that LUTs give a too heavy effect even when toned down, since I haven't really mastered working with LUTs yet. My initial view on film grain was that it would probably work best to create a certain type of atmosphere in short movies or documentaries. But it turned out I actually like the look of it for some types of material. After a while I got the idea to see how film emulation plus grain could disguise technical flaws. 
For some of my behind the scenes stuff, I use my phone or an action cam and I really don't like the look of that sometimes, especially in low light. It's really obvious that you're filming on a phone or a low quality camera. As it turned out, I found the enhancer to work very well when trying to disguise technical flaws in my material, like phone footage in low light. It still looks low quality, but in a good way, if that makes any sense. So, what are the pros and cons of this plugin? As a beginner in color grading, it's very easy to just click around to find different looks to fit your taste and the type of material that you're editing. I might find a look that I really like, but I wouldn't know how to get that look by just color grading by myself. Dehancer also gives you a way of creating a very unique style to a certain types of film. It's also very versatile and you can tweak the settings a lot to create your own look. So, what are the cons? For me, the price of the Pro version is a bit too high since I don't really work with film production or spend a lot of time on color grading. Dehancer is also very heavy on your computer, so when I edit I can't have it turned on for the clips without lagging. I just finish the editing and then I turn it on before exporting. It's also kind of hard getting an overview of all the film types since I'm no film expert and I think it would be very useful to have the film types divided into categories like black and white, negative film and slide film. So in conclusion, this plugin turned out to be a lot more useful to me than I first expected before I tried it out. If you don't feel like buying the Pro version, there is also a light version that includes a lot of the features that I've mentioned, like film emulations, bloom and grain. I mean, just not having to buy a Pro Mist filter, the bloom effect itself could be worth it. I hate dealing with filters and they cost a lot of money. All in all, I'm very surprised at how well this worked for my type of photography and I really look forward to trying it out some more. So if you feel like buying Dehancer, there is a promo code in the description that will give you a 10% discount. And finally, here is a compilation of some of my favorite clips when color graded with Dehancer. See you next time!